Swallow Sidecar Company, Swallow Sidecar and Coach Building Company, and Swallow Coach Building Company were trading names used by Wormsley and Lyons, partners and joint owners of a British manufacturer of motorcycle sidecars and automobile bodies in Blackpool, Lancashire, later Coventry, Warwickshire, before incorporating a company to own their business which they named Swallow Coach Building Company Limited. Under co-founder William Lyons its business continued to prosper as SS Cars Limited and grew into Jaguar Cars Limited. The sidecar manufacturing business, by then owned by a different company, Swallow Coach Building Company 1935 Limited, was sold by Jaguar to an aircraft maintenance firm, Heliwell Group, in January 1946. Topic Lyons and Wormsley Swallow was founded by two friends, William Wormsley aged 30 and William Lyons then aged 20. Their partnership became official on Lyons's 21st birthday, 4 September 1922. Both families lived in the same street in Blackpool, England. Wormsley had previously been making side cars and bolting them onto reconditioned motorcycles. Lyons had served his apprenticeship at Crossley Motors in Manchester before moving to Blackpool Sunbeam Dealers, Brown and Malilu. As a junior salesman, their business partnership was known by three successive trading names Swallow Sidecar Company, Swallow Sidecar and Coach Building Company, and Swallow Coach Building Company. In 1930, a limited liability company was incorporated to own their business. Topic: Sidecars. Topic: Swallow Sidecar. Lyons, having recognized the commercial potential for these sidecars, joined Wormsley and together they found premises in Bloomfield Road, Blackpool using a £1,000 bank overdraft obtained with the assistance of their respective fathers. With a small team of employees they were able to begin commercial production of the motorcycle sidecars. Soon they had to rent more space nearby. Then they needed still more room. Wormsley's father bought a big building in Cocker Street Blackpool which they moved into and with all the extra space began to offer to repair and paint cars and fit new hoods and upholstery. They added coach building to their business name. Automobile <inaudible> <inaudible> bodies <inaudible> Topic: Swallow Sidecar and Coach Building. The first car that Lyons and Wormsley worked on, intending to build and sell it in any quantity, was the Austin Seven, a popular and inexpensive vehicle. For their show car, Swallows Bolton, Lancashire agent had persuaded a dealer in Bolton to supply him under the counter. Coach builders required Austin's prior approval or warranties might be voided with an Austin 7 chassis. Lyons, with a sketch of what he wanted, commissioned Cyril Holland, a coach builder by trade, to create a distinctive, open two seater body. Holland gave it a detachable hardtop with a characteristic back window. The result was announced to public in May 1927, the Austin 7 Swallow. Austin gave their approval to the Swallow coach work though adjustments were needed, the wings kept falling onto the tires and the cycle type was dispensed with in favour of the more usual shape. In that form it was taken to London and shown to Henley's Bert Herbert Gerald Henley and Frank Huff who ordered 500 both two seaters and saloons priced at only 175 pounds the swallow with its brightly colored two-tone bodywork and a style that imitated the more expensive cars of the time proved popular in the prosperous late 20s and in the following depression 
Soon after, a saloon version was produced, the Austin 7 Swallow Saloon. <laughs> Swallow Coach Building During 1927 the «sidecar» was dropped from the name, and it became the Swallow Coach Building Company. Coventry The increasing demand for swallows made it necessary to move the company closer to the heart of the British car industry and so, in 1928, they moved to a part disused First World War munitions factory at Holbrook Lane, Coventry. Business continued to grow and in 1929 the owners were confident enough to go to the expense of taking a stand at the London Motor Show. Three new Swallow models appeared in 1929 on Standard, Swift, and Fiat chassis. Also in 1929 John Black and William Lyons realized a long-standing dream and produced a one-of-a-kind sports car, this first. SS Standard Swallow was a sleek boat tail roadster with a flowing, streamlined design and pointed to an obvious attempt at making a fast car, possibly with the intention of venturing into racing. This car is believed to have been shipped to Australia in the late 40s. 1931 Swallow two-door four-seater saloon on an Austin 7 chassis. Topic. Swallow Coach Building Company Limited Topic. Hornet Bodies on the Wolseley Hornet chassis fitted in well with Swallow's planned new product range. They were the first six-cylinder Swallows. Production began in January 1931 with an open two-seater. A four-seater car followed in that autumn. In April 1932 the new special chassis arrived and these cars were quite popular. They were the last of the special bodied Swallows, whose production was replaced in the summer of 1933 by their SS1 Tora first announced in March 1933. Production, Special Hornets, Two Seaters 21, Four Seaters 185, Standard Hornets, Two Seaters 100 plus, Four Seaters 224. The quantity of two seaters made in the first part of 1931 is unknown. Advertising slogan for the Wolseley Hornet Swallow Cars. The Swallow Touch That Means So Much. SS1 Engines and chassis supplied by the Standard Motor Company were fitted with Swallow bodies styled under Lyons supervision. The first of the SS range of cars available to the public was the 1932 SS1 with 2-litre or 2.5-litre side valve, 6-cylinder engine and the SS2 with a 4-cylinder 1-litre side valve engine. Initially available as coupe or Tora a saloon was added in 1934, when the chassis was modified to be 2 inches 50 mm wider. The success of the new range brought about a number of changes. William Wormsley wished to leave this business and it was decided to replace Wormsley's capital by bringing new outside shareholders into a brand new incorporation, SS Cars Limited. The new company technically commenced business on 1 February 1934 following its incorporation 26 October 1933. Subsequently, SS Cars Limited bought the shares of Swallow Coachbuilding Limited as of 31 July 1934 and Swallow was liquidated wound up before SS issued shares to the public in January 1935.
Topic: <laughs> After swallow. Topic: <laughs> SS Cars Limited. The continued success and expansion of their SS Jaguar range, in particular the sports and saloon cars announced in late 1935 would lead to its new name. <laughs> <laughs> Jaguar Cars Limited Towards the end of the war on 23 March 1945 the SS Cars Limited shareholders in general meeting agreed to change the company's name to Jaguar Cars Limited. Said Chairman William Lyons, "...unlike SS the name Jaguar is distinctive and cannot be connected or confused with any similar foreign name." Sidecar production was now by Swallow Coachbuilding Co., 1935 Limited of Albion Road, Birmingham, 11. <laughs> Heliwell In January 1946 the Heliwell Group, an aircraft maintenance firm, bought Swallow Coachbuilding Company 1935, Limited from Jaguar Cars Limited. Sidecars produced at Heliwell's Walsall Airport works were built in the same way as the originals and used the same patented trademark. They closed shop in the late 1950s. <laughs> Notes <laughs>